Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another reaction video. Hey, so, I know it's been seven days. I haven't reacted to the video in a minute. Works has been getting in the way, but we back with another reaction video to another new top five. Today's gonna be reacting to top five scary ghost videos that'll make you punch the screen. I don't believe that at all, but we're gonna see what's going on because I know I know new, t new top five be getting out with the bangers. So, as that's being said, we're gonna get right into this reaction video. All right, let's get it. By ghosts caught on camera, haunted. Single dad Alex Calvo inherited his estranged grandmother's house in Florida after her recent passing. So he and his daughters packed their bags and moved to the home to start a new life. The house has been in his family for four generations. She has been left mostly untouched. In fact, when they move in, the home is still full of his grandmother's belongings. Alex begins to record moments from his family's move to the new house and shares his experiences on TikTok. When they first arrive, Alex posts a video of the event. But concerned viewers soon point out to him that there is something very disturbing in the video. Alex is shocked. A look at our new house. Bro, that wow. house is old. I don't know if I'm moving that house. This is cool, right? Better than an apartment. Okay. Got everybody here. Heading on into the new. Hey, you know this house is on a low budget. <laughs> oh, it looks creepy and everything. No, get a reminder, bro. Get all fixed up. House for the first time. Okay. Just say go. Yeah. You, you sound yeah, a little scary. nervous. Oh yeah, see, he's scary. scary. <laughs> oh, look at all this stuff. Dollhouse for you, Salo. <laughs> go. Okay. Um, Whoa, wait a minute. Nice. You see that in the mirror? Hold up. Lady, I'm going to go at my mom. Let's close the door. Wait, was that, was that oh. something in the mirror? Or was that reaction or reflection? It? Oh, yeah, when that Alex is something in the mirror. Alex walks past a mirror. A creepy dark figure can be seen in the reflection. Mm -mm. Alex says that he has no idea what, what this could have been. But Man. he does I mean, it could be a co hanger. Like, it could be. Wait, no, because he walked in there. There's nothing bit there. Ooh. Decides to keep recording his experiences mm -hmm. in the new house. A little over a month later, and in the middle of the night, this happens. Okay, I just heard a loud bang out here. It's the middle of the night. Sounded like it was coming from the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen lights on. What the? Hello? Oh. oh man, no. Ooh, no, 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 no. That whole chair uh, just hello? freaking moves. Can you park something there? Is there somebody here? Is there somebody in here? There's literally no one there. What the f? Alex hears a loud bang and goes to investigate when a chair suddenly just moves on its own. Mm -hmm. Hello? Nope. Oh. And then. Only two weeks later, he films another chilling experience. So I just captured something else on tape. Um, while I was actually taking the tape, I did not notice it at all, but you go ahead and take a look at it and tell me what you think. Okay, I just heard a really loud noise coming up here from the same place where all the other stuff has been going on. Like something was dragging across the floor. Um, turn on the lights, like everybody says. <laughs> Okay, no, come on. This somebody listen, turn something. on the lights. I don't know. Let's see, I don't know. Oh! Wait a minute, whoa! I don't fing know, there's nothing here. Turn on this wait, light was that down a, wait, here. was that a face? Alex doesn't notice it at the time, but he accidentally records what seems to be a pale face. That looks staring so at him fake. from a doorway. He starts to believe that whatever is making looks the fake, strange though. noises and appearing look, look in his look, videos. Look, look how fake that looks. What? I mean, I haven't really seen a ghost in my life, so I'm, I don't know what they look like. But I mean, this this part right here might be fake. I don't know. Might actually be the spirit of his but, deceased I mean, I grandmother. Cut to another night, and Alex captures something absolutely Oops. terrifying. Okay, I am up here where all the different, like, scary activity has happened, and uh, I'm hearing what sounds like somebody walk around on the floorboards. As I'm up here, I can feel, like, the pressure like the faces steps landing around me. Um, I don't really know what's going on. It's, uh, it just seems pretty well, crazy to me. A I, I just, this is, I don't know. This is not what I signed up for when I got this house. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Come on. Ugh. 
What was that? Oh, what oh, the f is there somebody in here, or was that actually my f***ing grandmother? Oh my what? god. But I mean, oh, this is his grandmother at least. Like, oh, I mean, I, if I knew my grandmother was just walking around my house, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't oh, be scared. But I mean, doing that, scaring me. The not a good idea. Mm. On the floor? Are you kidding me? That's the robe on the floor. Alex can't believe his eyes as right in front of him someone appears to be standing in his doorway. By the time he manages to collect mm -hmm. himself, whoever or whatever it was has disappeared. So could it be that Alex's home is haunted by his grandmother? And if not, then just what is this? I highly recommend Bro. that you watch Alex's full story over on Bro, his TikTok look at page. This. What? Alex Calvo is haunted. I'm about to check out his TikTok. Yeah, I'm about to check out his TikTok. A different perspective. Reddit user Bunny Toes says that she was home completely all alone with just her grandchild when she gave the baby her old phone to play with. The child accidentally starts recording a video and captures I think I've seen this something video. chilling. Uh, Unless it was a different baby, I suppose. Let's change the babies be freaking recording stuff they didn't even know. I haven't seen this one. Nope. I, this is, nah, I haven't seen this one. Reddit user Bunny Toes is shocked when she looks back at the footage. Her grandchild seems to have recorded a tall, shadow-like figure standing right behind them. The astonished Reddit user believes the apparition to possibly be her husband's deceased grandmother. Dude, what's up with these grandmas six freaking years ago showing up in the video, man? Same spot the one. where the figure can be seen in the video. But is it a shadow figure or just a very strange trick of the light? Let me know down in the comments. Yeah, I don't know. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. I might have to the do that when I go to the land mansion. Abiud Hernandez list. Alvarez. Now, the name Abiud Hernandez Alvarez might sound familiar to you because over the last year and a half, I've featured his continuing frightening story. Whoa. Abiud lives alone in an apartment in Mexico City and claims that he suddenly began to experience terrifying paranormal activity at all hours. Objects would move on their own, doors slam shut, and the sound of high heels and knocking were heard in the halls. Whoa. Most horrifying of all, a strange female entity began to appear in mirrors around his house, and then uh. the apparition even physically <laughs> attacked Abiud. What in his last video posted to Facebook, he recorded a shocking encounter with the female spirit he calls Zaya. What the? Like, and what? Then he just sort That's of That's a straight demon, a bro. Abiud has since returned and adopted a cute little puppy named Milo. Uh -huh. It's not long Milo. before Milo starts to regularly react nervously to something that Abiud can't see. Mm -hmm. One night when Abiud is fast asleep in bed, a static camera records something very strange. How is he sleep, bro? If my dog started doing that, I'll wake up real quick. Even though I am a heavy sleeper, but I mean. What the f Should I just hear that? So there's some predator some predator stuff going on. Milo barks at something that we can't see and an ominous noise can be heard that seems to respond back to the little dog. It's almost as if little Milo is trying to protect his owner from something. Aww. Over time, Milo seems to form an odd attachment to a large teddy bear that we have seen in Abiud's videos what? before. The teddy bear, named Googie, often seems to just move on its own. What the heck? <laughs> You put, I bet if you put the teddy bear on the ground, he's gonna mess that teddy bear One up. day after frantically searching, Abiud can't seem to find the teddy bear anywhere. What? It's like it simply disappeared into thin air. Gugi ha desaparecido y no entiendo por qué. Incluso estoy viendo que en el espejo hay como agua. Is that water? Y toda esa agua That's water? That's water? What the? Está directamente en el piso. Incluso de este lado, también se puede ver como el agua está escurriendo. O de la silla. Tabor is gone. It's not even on this chair no more. 
realmente no, pues no, no sé cómo explicar que voy a desaparecer Pues no sé qué I missed it. Did you see it? Oh. Even though Abby Ud shows an empty chair, Googie the teddy bear can be seen sitting in the chair. What the? But bro! How? Wait, what? Wait, how is there a reflection of the teddy bear? The teddy bear's not even there. What? Chair in the mirror's reflection. Even stranger, water appears to be seeping right from the mirror itself. Eventually, Teddy Bear Googie returns to its usual spot and all seems to be going well. Until one night. Abiud hears a very loud noise coming from the same room. He once again takes out his phone and starts to record. What? It did not go well. Well, right at the bat, there's a bang sound. Oh, it looked like he shot that tape right down. <laughs> yeah, he shot that tape right down. The water in the mirror, though. Wait, hold on. Before I just, before my brain just processed what just happened, was that himself walking towards him? Wait a minute. Turn the light on. Turn the light on, man. In an absolutely bizarre twist, what looks like a terrifying Bro, clone of himself charges toward Abiud, oh. scaring him so much that he stumbles to the ground. There's literally himself walking towards him. What up. the? F There's nothing there. Also, a strange. Oh no, man! Nah, no, man! If I saw myself walking towards me from there, bro, I'm flipping out this chair. I'm dodging a weaving. I'm leaving. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> what is that in the freaking mirror? That wasn't there before now appears on the mirror. What is that? When Abiud checks out the I living room, that something up. dark seems to be standing there with him. Hey, what? Only visible in the reflection in the living room mirror. I can't see him. After this horrifying experience, Abiud takes. Wait, how, how did Nuke just catch that? that, that dude, I'm telling you, Nuke, like, he analyzes. This is Dog Milo on a long trip to just get away for a while. Yeah, hey, I would too. I would so, come on, Dog, with me. Is Abiud <laughs> and his Alvarez oh, apartment really violently <laughs> haunted? Me. Or is it just a bizarre ah. horror ARG? Either way, the videos are terrifying. What and as always, I leave it up to you to decide. You can find Abby Ud's entire oh, story chills, and many bro. more videos over on his Facebook page. Why is it Facebook? The Tunnels. Founded the tunnels. in 1911, the seaside city of Astoria, Oregon has seen its fair share of dark history. In the early 1920s, most of the city tragically burnt to the ground. It was rebuilt with concrete reinforced pylons, creating a creepy hidden underground tunnel system. Many of these tunnels served as underground living space for the very poor. What? But they were also home to a lot of violent criminal activity. Of course, and of were course. Very it was. unsafe. One of the unfortunate poor people who lived in the tunnels was a woman named Abigail. Abigail was a poorly paid seamstress in a tailor shop during the day, and at night, she lived a very hard life down in the dark tunnels beneath the shop. In 1972, Abigail saw no way out and ended it all. Her remains what? weren't found until a week after her passing. Another unfortunate soul that is said to inhabit the tunnels is allegedly that of a young girl named Sarah, who is also said to have met her untimely death beneath the tailor shop. 
Over time, the underground tunnels were closed due to safety hazards. The tailor shop was sold and eventually became the Gully's Butcher Shop. Owner Diana Gully says that she has always had a bad feeling that someone smiles, or something feeling, might still be down in the tunnels beneath her store. Guests have taken photos in the basement of a mysterious entity that seems to be sitting in a chair. Others have gotten nasty headaches during their visits, and some have even seen a large shadow figure. The story goes that one man visiting sat down in a chair but soon fell over and then quickly ran out. He claimed that what he believed to be the spirit of little Sarah came walking towards him and pushed him right out of the chair. What? Diana Gully has invited popular ghost hunters Ryan, River, Wyatt, and Skylar from the YouTube channel Twin Paranormal to investigate whether the stories are true and just who or what might be haunting the Gully's butcher shop. As Ryan is interviewing Diana about her store, River is busy setting up a static camera in the tunnels. He captures something downright chilling. So when you're checking things, maybe you could get a little bit more information yeah. about that. See, some things may uh, appear differently. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear no running. Sometimes they'll trick you. What the f***? The music was Earlier, too loud. Like, yeah, I didn't hear no sitting. Cry. Could have gotten scratched on her face. Mm -hmm. Or could have just Ryan. Uh, yeah. a little bit too excitement in them doing it themselves. Why did she just smile like that? It's like she knew that. Oh, I kind of heard it. What the? F what happened to you, dude? I've never had this happen ever. I was getting shot, and I hear someone walking like this. Okay. And it came right behind my ear. Oh. And they're breathing really heavy. Bro, well, no. Nah. I've never <laughs> no. had this happen. I almost just freaking lost it. Okay. I'm okay, but that was really awesome. scary. I'm not is that you running it. over here? Yeah, it was me running over here. <laughs> I've never had that happen. Now, a little freaked out, the team finishes their interview with store owner Diana and officially begins their investigation. Mm. Using a rim pod and two EMF meters, they begin to ask questions to the spirit of Abigail, and things just get weirder. That just went to red. That just yeah. went to red. Are you filming it? That went all the way to red. Yes. Can you spike this one as well? This one in my hand? Please? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Thank you. What? I need to get me one of those. Thank you, Loki. Abigail, if this is you. Not one, not two, but all of their devices spike at the same time. It's like it's going in circles. moves on to a different section of the basement, and their devices are still continuously spiking. That's when Ryan experiences something terrifying. We're only... This just keeps going off! Thank you! Riff, riff, riff. What? Somebody's right here. Somebody's right here. Are you over here with us? Oh, I heard that. <laughs> what? What? It's like a small look. I just yeah. got what you got. Somebody's right here. Are you over here with us? It's like, it's like it's trying to say yeah, but like, yeah. What? 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 <laughs> Something just took a deep, deep breath right by my ear. Yeah, hot breath. That's what it is. If I had a heart monitor right now, my heart is beating so fast. Just like his brother River, Ryan experiences and hears the breath of someone right he next did. to his ear. But <laughs> that's not startled, all bro. that the twin paranormal guys catch at Gully's Butcher Shop. Here's another object here in Skylar's hand. All you have to do is walk up to this object and you hold on to this antenna or get close to this metal rod that you see and it'll light up and it'll make noise. I'm going to go ahead and set it over here in this walkway if you can come over to us and use your energy. Give us a sign that you are here with that. What? That could have been one of them though, low key. Give us a sign that you are here with that. It can't be them because if it was them, you would have saw the leg. Walking around down in the tunnels is captured on camera. The ghost hunters have no idea what their camera has just recorded but they do hear footsteps coming from that direction. Mm -mm. So could this be the spirit of Abigail? Could it be the ghost of little Sarah? Or don't look like something a... worse? 
I think that might be the guy. Think. The investigation at Gully's Butcher Shop is not over yet. Part two will be up on the YouTube channel, Twin Paranormal, hey, very the, soon. Watch that. The Legend of Kashima Reiko. So the story with this next video goes that an anonymous Japanese man lost a bet with his friends, and so they dared him to explore an allegedly haunted forest. Oh, they ain't your friends that didn't do that. As proof, he must film the entire experience. He hikes into the woods just as the sun goes down. As you might suspect, it did not go well. Look, oh, look at the woods, bro. That was creepy. Oh no. Bro, just turn back now. Just just turn back around. He already showed your proof that he walked in the woods. It's 5.10? Oh yeah, around 5 o'clock is when it gets dark, usually. Time change. Oh, it got hella dark. Oh, it got dark dark. Eh? Oh, chow, 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 chow. Chow, chow. Is that somebody crawling? Is that somebody crawling? That is somebody crawling! Wow! That's a fucking ring, bro. Get the fuck up out of there. That's the ring. Get yeah, time to dip. The pale disembodied torso of a woman appears to crawl her way out of the forest, getting closer and closer. The man makes a run for it, and the video abruptly ends. Now, Japanese viewers say that the mysterious video has a basis in the frightening urban legend of Kashima Reiko. Mm -mm. The story says that the vengeful spirit of a woman is Ugh. forever looking <laughs> for her lost me legs. A little bit. <laughs> and if she happens upon someone, she will take the legs of anyone she encounters. What? Thanks so much for watching. Oh, Please my follow God. my Instagram. <laughs> bro, this video, bro. All right, I gave it good to you, new top five. This was a good one. That made me push the screen though, but it got me a little startled. It got me chills in my body. But dude, it's not just the fact that there was a freaking much. I can't. I'm, I'm speechless. A freaking double ganger of the, the dude. They literally walked into the door, chasing, the, coming after him, bro. Mm mm. But I'm out of here, guys. I'm at this is video. I'll catch you guys in my next reaction. And if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button already, it's free. All you gotta do is send them to your email. And hit that subscribe button. There's a bell. Hit that bell and you won't miss on any of my content. So, hope you guys are sticking around on my channel. And I'll catch you guys in my next reaction video. Peace. Bye.